Hi everyone, this is Angie from makingmayhem.blogspot.com with my very first tutorial, Autumn Leaves. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you today how I made that background paper for these beautiful leaves and how you can do the same. Okay, to start off with, you'll need some white cardstock, doesn't matter the weight. You'll need a spray bottle full of water. You'll need some colored sprays and some shimmer sprays. What I've used on my projects today are Dilution Ink Sprays and Adirondack Color Washes for color, Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and Perfect Pearls Mist for the shimmer. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is spritz your cardstock with water so that the entire thing is wet. And then you begin to spray randomly with different colors to make the background, and I started off with Dilution Spray Ink and Lemon Zest. Next up is the Adirondack Color Washes. I used butterscotch and again just spraying randomly to fill the background. More color wash, this time in red pepper. And then terracotta, again just spraying randomly. Once you've got the background covered, grab some water in a spray bottle or some Perfect Pearls Mist in a neutral color like Pearl and go ahead and spray the entire sheet of cardstock so that the colors will blend and melt together. You can either, at this point, let it dry overnight, or you can hit it with a heat gun and go ahead and get it all dried for the next step. If you've ever stopped by my blog or seen my projects online, you'll know that I love technique. I love uh, to get messy. So the next steps are the most fun for me. Um, this is Adirondack Color Wash in Espresso. Just take the pump piece out turn it upside down like it is in the picture and flick the tube and it'll help you get some of those spots on that background. Okay, so just a couple of notes. Um, if you want your colors to be more melded, um, spray them over on top of each other when they're wet. If you want the colors to be more distinct, then dry your layers in between. So you can kind of see I've got a little both going on. I've got some melding, I've got some splotches. Um, and that particular corner that's showing in the picture here, I actually didn't like that. I was worried that the black or the dark brown was going to spread. So I actually took a manila tag and laid it over top and kind of picked up some color. Now, when you're also spraying your backgrounds, don't forget that you can turn your paper to get that area that looks like it's kind of plain. You know, step back, look at it, evaluate, see where you need to add a few more spots, more color, get more blending. Okay, remember when I said that I like technique? Well, I don't like expensive technique. So again, we're going to take the Shimmer Mist bottle, we're going to shake it up, we're going to take the pump out, and you're going to actually turn it upside down again and lay the tubing on top of your background. So dip it, shake it up, whatever, so it can get wet, and then lay it on top. So if you just repeat, dip in the tube, laying it down on the background paper, this is what it'll look like while it's wet, and when it dries, it'll be gorgeous shimmer. Another thing that you can do is take that pump piece, dip it in the bottle, hold it straight up and down, and tap the end of the tube on your paper so you get smaller dots. You want bigger dots, you can do uh, flicking like we did earlier with the Espresso. You can also get some fun effects by grabbing a paintbrush, swirling it in the bottle, and just flinging the shimmer mist right onto the paper. So there you have it. You've got this beautiful background paper with lovely color and beautiful shimmer on top. And you can use that paper to die cut. You can use it for backgrounds. Um, if you check out my blog, makingmayhem.blogspot.com, um, in October, uh, you'll see um, some projects that I've actually used this background paper with. Thanks for watching.